Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, August 9th, 2022 at seven o'clock Eastern time. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live. And I am so glad you guys are here with me. Hello, Antoinette and Debbie Spicer, Spice Girl. <laughs> What's the song the Spice Girl sings? I can't, the, the, I can't remember what that really popular song they had was. Um, I need to start singing that at the beginning of the video. You know, when they say, like, salt and pepper here, and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Anybody remember that? <laughs> hey, Terry. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Robin. Everybody say hello. Who's on here? Can you guys hear me and see me okay? Hopefully. I'm hoping my computer's working because we had a bad thunderstorm a little while ago and the power went out and uh, thankfully it wasn't off for very long because it, you know, it was like 95 degrees today. So, um, I would have died. Hey, Alex. Hey, Julie. Hey, Oh, I already said hey to you guys. <laughs> hey, Holly. <laughs> oh, perfect day in Wisconsin. No humidity and high 70s. Oh, I can't wait for that. We're actually supposed to drop into the 80s this week. Uh, I think Thursday or Friday. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hey, Jilly. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Diana. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Holly. Oh, I already said hey, Holly. <laughs> hey, Anna. Uh, how is everybody doing tonight? I'm so glad to be here with you guys. Um, I had a really fun day, but I had a couple uh, weird things happen. So I'll tell you about those. And I have a joke for you. Oh, no AC at work. I think I would be leaving. <laughs> uh, all right. So this is the card we're making tonight. It's kind of similar to the one that I did the other day, which I don't think I have one here. Wait a minute. Let me check. Nope. I don't know where they all went. The one that had the circle with the, um, the oceanfront stamp set. It had like little, um, cattails and it was like crumb cake and blue and it had the circle. So this card is kind of where I got the idea for, from, um, I got the idea for this card from that card. So I wanted to try it with the rectangles. And this is the, what is it called? The deckled rectangle dies. So they're really cool. They're kind of like, remember those old scissors we used to have at Stampin' Up! a long, long time ago? That were like kind of jagged and you would cut the edge of your paper and you'd say, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I remember when I very first started stamping and that was in 2000, so it was 20 some years ago. And I used to have all those little scissors that were like the the deckled ones and the, um, oh, what are the other ones? The ones that go like zigzag and all those things. And I would cut them at the bottom of my card and I'd say, oh, that's so cool. And it'd be so crooked. And some of my early cards, I wish I had saved them and I could show you guys that they're so bad. But um, for this card, I used the... Let me see. I think it was. Nope. Not that one. I used the fourth one. So it's the fourth one in from the biggest one. So I used this one and I'll show you how I did it. It's a super easy card, except I messed up the first one because I stamped crooked. So we're using this stamp set, Sunkissed, which I used the other day when I did these two cards. If you missed that video, you can go back and watch it. That was just from um, a few days ago, maybe like, might have been a week ago, I don't remember. But it's a really pretty stamp set. We do have another one called Paradise Palms, I think is the name of it. And it has palm trees, but I like this one better. So I was thinking about using that one at first, but I like this stamp set better, so we're doing that. So what I did was I cut out a template with the, um, the deckled rectangle. So that pops out, so you can save that for another card, and then you've got your template here. Um, or you could do it, punch it out of the masking paper that Stampin' Up! carries now, and then it would be already sticky. But I have a sticky post-it note um, that I just put at the top, so that's gonna hold it in place when we do our sponging. This is the first one I made, and I stamped the words crooked, so I had to redo the whole thing. And I did this too low, so 
I just said, forget it. I'm going to do another one. <laughs> I can't have my video card be bad looking. <laughs> All right. We've got a lot of people on now. 63. Wow. All right. Let me read some comments real quick. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Love the blended backgrounds. Oh, Robin, you're in Delaware Beach. Are you in Rehoboth? I have been there before. I don't know if there's another one there, but that's the one I've been to. Oh, Yuma is going to drop down to the low 105 to 110. Whew, I think I would pass out. Although that's the dry heat, so it's not as bad. We're just so humid here. It's awful. Um, let's see. Honolulu. Who is in Honolulu? I wish I was there. Although it's too expensive there. <laughs> oh, Darlene, you still have all those scissors? Uh-oh, somebody said they lost me for a few seconds. Hopefully that was not everybody. And this video is going to work. If you missed the very beginning, I had a thunderstorm here um, about an hour or two ago. And uh, the power went out and the internet went out. And so I had to reboot everything. And I'm hoping that it's not going to mess up. So hopefully you guys can hear me and see me good. Um, all right, so let me get some winners of some cards real quick. So if you um, hear your name called or see your name called, um, make sure you email me at stampgirl2 at cox.net and I will send you the cards. So first one is Donna Mongelli, I think is how maybe you say it. She won this card. And then the next one is Gina Gibson. You won this one. I love this card. And then Nicole Lorente, you won this card. So you guys send me your address and I will stick it in the mail. And then don't forget if your order is over $50, you'll get a card kit. I got a wonky, wonky ribbon here. You'll get a card kit to make three of these cards. So I'll send you all the supplies. You just have to have the stamp set um, to do it in ink. Um, but I'll send you all the paper, the ribbon, and all that stuff. So that's a great deal. And then don't forget, it's celebration. And for every $50 you order, you get a free item out of here. Or you can pick one of the new items that Stampin' Up! added to the list. So there's 10 new items, including some embossing folders and some dies. And some foil paper and stuff. So... Lots of cool things on there. And also, we still have the joining special going on. So if you want to do that, we get all this freebies. You get $125 of product, plus you get this really cool planner, which is gorgeous and has tons and tons of stuff in it. And then you get um, three notebooks. And then you get the stamp set that goes with it. So all this is free. And you're getting an extra $26 of product on top of, because you're paying $99, and you get free shipping, and you get a paper pumpkin. So it comes out to like, um, I don't know, $75 or more free. I can't even remember how much it is, but it's a lot of free stuff for only $99. And you can keep it all. You don't ever have to do anything if you don't want to, but you can get the discount for as long as you stay active. So it's a great deal. And a lot of people just get the kit and then don't ever do anything, but I would love to have you... Um, any way you want so if you want to get that planner let me know and you can sign up all right so here's the card again if you just tuned in and all you need is that one piece of eight and a half by five and a half white and another piece of five and a quarter by four white so two pieces of white and also make your little template this is out of the same five and a quarter by four so I just popped that out of the same exact size so, actually, I guess you need two pieces of that to make one your template. Okay? So, we're going to get started. And hopefully, everybody's on here, ready to go. Um, okay. Everybody says they can hear me, see me. That is great. Um, oh, Debbie says, not dry heat here now. It's been raining. Ugh. Wow. That's really bad. I was in Las Vegas one time for a Stampin' Up! convention, and it was 115 to 120 degrees the whole week we were there. It was in July, and it was so hot, but it was dry heat. But it was like when you walked outside, it felt like your lungs were on fire. When you took a breath, it was just crazy. And then if you got in your car, it burned your legs. So it was bad. 
Sorry, I gotta take a little sip of water. My throat's a little dry. Oh, I gotta tell you about my dinner I made. So, um, those of you that watch all the time know I started doing keto. So, I have been looking for keto recipes and I have found a few really good ones. And the one I made for dinner tonight was amazing. I think I would eat it. Well, I know I would eat it. Even if I wasn't doing keto, I would still eat it. I might add some pasta to it, but it was so, so good. And um, I just could have eaten the whole pan of it, but it was very filling. So, all right. So you just lay this on top because uh, they're exactly the same size. And then fold over that tape, the um, post-it tape. And then they're all lined up. So you have that. Let me get some scrap paper. Hold on. Okay, we want some scrap paper. So we don't really need this piece right now. All right, so we're gonna start sponging. And I'm gonna start with the crumb, not crumb cake, Sahara sand. So I've got Sahara sand first. And we're just gonna do that down at the bottom. Always tap off on your scrap paper before you use these brushes. I did that, um, I forgot to do it on one of the cards I made and I got a big blob on there, so. So you just want this like maybe a little bit more than an inch or so at the bottom. And we wanna just get it some good color. I need to re-ink my ink pads. All right, so that's good for that. And we're done with that color. And, oh, let me tell you about my day. So I had class this morning. My chair keeps rubbing against my desk and it's making the squeaking sound. So I had class this morning and we had a lot of fun in class. And then after class, I went to go get a pedicure because my toenails were looking kind of, you know, terrible. So um, I had to go get that done. And so I was on my way there and I get off the exit. It's right next to where my old house is, maybe about like 10 minutes from here. And I get off the exit and I turn and I'm driving down the road towards the nail place. And this girl, I see her like she's coming across the road on the other side, starting to cross. And I'm like, okay, I know she's going to stop in the median and wait because there's a whole bunch of cars coming. She did not. She didn't even look. She just walks right out in front of me and the other car. And there was another car next to me. Just walks right out in front of us. And she's looking at her cell phone. She's not even looking at traffic. And I slammed on my brakes. The other lady slammed on her brakes and, and laid on the horn. Oops, I forgot to tap off. And, um, and she just looks up and gives us this dirty look like, really? <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, girl, you were about one inch from death just then because I was doing 45 and had to slam on the brakes and I mean I came like so close to hitting her it wasn't even funny if I hadn't hit the brakes that hard she would have been gone she had been flying over my car and I just looked at her like really you're just looking at your cell phone and you're gonna walk right in front of traffic going 45 just crazy and that just just flustered me so bad because I came that close to like killing someone and and I just, and then she just like gave me a dirty look, like not sorry I walked in front of your car or anything. So that, <laughs> then I went and got my pedicure, and I thank God I calmed down because <laughs> that was I got a good pedicure. But whew, I tell you what, I was like stressed. It was crazy. If I hadn't been totally paying attention and had been doing anything besides looking at the road, I would have hit her. I've never come that close to hitting somebody. All right, so that was, oh, I forgot to tell you, Coastal Cabana. And then we're going to move on to Crush Curry. I put my sticker on here so I didn't forget. So this is a post-it note, um, a sticky post-it note that is one inch circle I punched out. And I'm just going to put it on here for my son. And then we're going to sponge over it. And this one is very juicy. This is the one I forgot to tap off of. So we're just gonna sponge around that. And I don't want like too, too much sun. I mean, yellow. So anyway, the guy gave me the best pedicure and like a 15 minute leg and foot rub with it too. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're so awesome. I'm gonna get that guy every time I go, I think. All right, I'm gonna keep that off for just a minute cause I need 
to go back over the white. When I take that off, it's going to be white. So this is Flirty Flamingo. And it's pink. And we're just going to add some pink on here. But it's going to come out um, orange. Because yellow and pink make orange. It'll be a little bit pink. But it's going to kind of be orange too. And I'm just going to swirl that right around my sun. And try not to mess up my paper. All right. So there we go. I'm blend it a little bit more. All right. So see how that looks. It looks pretty good. All right. So I think I want to come down just a little bit with that. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to add just a little bit more yellow, I think. All right. So back to the yellow. We're going to take this off now. So you have that stark white. So you don't want that stark white on there. So you just take your blending brush. Don't add any more yellow. Just kind of take what's already on there and swirl it in there. Actually, there's not much left on here. I might need some more. Yeah, I do need some more because it's not dark enough. Whew, this one is, there we go. Okay, so now it looks more like a sun. All right. So now we've got some nice color. Let's see how that looks. Pretty good. Oops, I got a little something. Oh, there we go. All right, so that looks pretty good. We're going to take it off. And then we're done with this yellow. Let me read some comments real quick. Um, let's see. Um, oh, uh, let me see. Maybe she thought I had some money. She wasn't even looking. I saw her across the road and she, I saw her on her cell phone and I thought for sure she was going to stop. And, um, she didn't even look, didn't even look at the traffic coming, just walked right out in front of the car. And I thought, wow, crazy woman. Yep. They just don't care anymore. But she would have cared if I hit her, I bet. But then she would have sued me for everything, I'm sure, even though it wouldn't have been my fault because it was her fault. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, Enika, your mom was admitted today in the hospital. I'm so sorry. I hope she is okay. Um, oh, she's ni almost 91. All right. Okay, so I caught up on all the comments. Okay, so... Um, then I got home and we, and I was, it was so funny. I was just sitting like, and I was looking for ideas for tonight's videos and I ended up going to my own channel and found the other one. I'm like, Oh, I think I'll do a card like that. You know, yeah, I just sit there and look on Pinterest or YouTube for ideas and then something will pop in my head, but my own channel sometimes gives me the best ideas. All right. So what we're going to do is I think I'm going to stamp the words first, just to make sure I don't get them crooked because then we'll have to start all over from the beginning. <laughs> I know you would hate that. Let me ch check. Okay. So hopefully this is straight. Yep, pretty good. Yay. Okay. All right, so that's good. I didn't want to have to do that again. All right, so then we're going to take the markers to do the trees. So I'm going to start with the green, and this is Mossy Meadow. And this is just the regular markers, not the stamp and blends. Always use the side of your markers when you color because you don't want to ruin your tips. So just color this with the side of your marker. Plus it takes a lot less time. If you tried to use the tip of the marker, it would take you forever. So just use the side. And then I've got um, early espresso for the tree trunks. So I'm just gonna go right over those trunks and go kind of down here because this trunk goes a little bit farther down and I could have stamped the whole thing in soft suede or something but I wanted different colors all right so now I've got the soft suede and I'm just gonna do a little bit I didn't want this part right here because this is actually water so I didn't want that in there because it's gonna be over top of the Sahara sand part so we're just going to have that. 
All right, so then you're gonna give it a big old huff, your Darth Vader breath. And I wanna get this part right here over top of the Sahara sand, but make sure you're kind of watching that you don't hit the words there. So we're gonna put it right about there. And it's hanging off the edge a little bit, which is fine. And let it sit there for a minute. Oh, Enika, you made a card just like this recently. That's so funny. Did you post it anywhere? Because I haven't seen one like this. All right, so there we go. Perfect. It came out perfect this time. Okay, good. All right, so then I did this one with the shells right there and right there. What do you think? Do you like it better like that or with the shells like coming out of the sides? Let me know what you think. So it'll be like that. This one has shimmer spray on it too. I don't know if you can tell. Tell the difference. We really, um, oops. Yeah, I'll keep that out because we need that. Okay, no shells. All right, we got one vote for no, two votes no. No shell. Okay, nobody wants shells. All right, I thought they looked cute, but that's okay. All right, so we're done then, except for shimmer spray. Now you can see on here I got a blob, so hopefully we don't get a blob on this one. Oh, I gotta glue it together. Oh, you know what I forgot was the inside, hold on. Okay, so we're gonna huff this again. I still have ink on there. And I'm gonna ink, uh, stamp it inside the card. So I'm gonna do it a little bit lower and try not to get that bottom part. There we go. So that's what you get when you have some left and you huff it. You still have enough ink. Oh, what's inside my card. All right, then we're going to glue this down. Uh-oh, kind of stuck. Come on. All right. So glue this down on the front. Oh, and I got to tell you, um, oh, I forgot about my joke. Um, my last, not last video, but one before last when I did the baby wipe has already got almost 11,000 views. I was like, that that's my one hit wonder, I guess. That's the most views I've ever gotten on a video before. All right, let me tell you my joke. You ready? All right, this one's a good one. All right, a plane is on its way to Toronto when a blonde in economy class gets up and moves to first class and sits down. The flight attendant watches her do this and asks to see her ticket. She then tells the blonde that she paid for economy class and that she'll have to go back to her seat. The blonde says, I'm blonde, I'm beautiful, I'm gonna, I'm going to Toronto and I'm staying right here. The flight attendant goes into the cockpit and tells the pilot and the co-pilot that there's a blonde bimbo sitting in first class that belongs in economy and won't move back to her seat. The co-pilot goes back to the blonde and tries to explain that because she only paid for economy, she'll have to leave and return to her seat. The blonde replies, I'm blonde, I'm beautiful, I'm going to Toronto and I'm staying right here. The co-pilot tells the pilot that he probably should have police waiting when they land to arrest this blonde woman who won't listen to reason. The pilot says, you say this woman is blonde? I'll handle this. I'm married to a blonde. I speak blonde. He goes back to the blonde and whispers in her ear and says, I'm sorry. And she says, oh, I'm sorry, and gets up and goes back to her seat in economy. The flight attendant and co-pilot are amazed and asked him what he said to make her move without any fuss. And he says, I told her first class isn't going to Toronto. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. All right, so we're going to shake it up. And if you don't have shimmer spray, I found out today, somebody told me they tried to order. I put three links in the um, description box and it's sold out on all three websites. So I'm thinking... I must be more popular than I thought, and everybody's buying the shimmer spray. So, um, I, I guess right now it's sold out everywhere. So, hopefully it will be coming back in stock. But it's the Champagne Mist Shimmer Paint. Um, this is what it looks like. It's by Sukuniko. T-S-U-K-I-N-E-K-O. And um, that's what it looks like. I had three websites on there you could get it from and it sold out. So you mix it with alcohol 70% and then just shake it up. And then you hold it about a foot above your card and just give it a spritz. See, I got a blob there too. I think mine's a little bit clogged up maybe. And then it just makes your card sparkle. So then you get, oh, I need some more. 
I love it. All right, so hopefully you can see the sparkle on there. And it's just so pretty. It never shows up on the camera like it does in real life, but it is really pretty. I just made some more. This is a new batch. I just made it yesterday, but I got a couple little blobs, but that's all right. All right, so I hope you liked this card and it's super easy to make. You could whip out a few of these. If you make a few templates, just kind of do them um, assembly line style and you can uh, whip out a bunch of them. Oh, you guys like that joke. <laughs> I tried to remember it without printing it out and uh, I couldn't do it. So I said, I have to print it out and read it because I couldn't remember it's too long. Um, but I thought it was funny. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you about my dinner. Shoot, I made this keto lasagna and I was gonna tell you guys the recipe, but um, maybe I'll try that next time. But it was um, ground Italian sausage and you cook it with onions and garlic and olive oil or avocado oil. And then you set that aside. Oh, then you mix, oh wait a minute, you mix half a jar of spaghetti sauce with it. But I use the no sugar kind. And then you set that aside. And then you have um, like a bag of spinach, or you can use frozen spinach if you want to. I used a big bag. And sauteed that with some butter. And then I mixed it with a block of cream cheese and one egg and salt and pepper. And oh, I put some spices in the meat too. And you stir that up and then you layer the spinach mixture with the meat mixture, the meat and the sauce, and then um, mozzarella cheese, and then do another layer of that. And then you bake it for like 30 minutes at 350. And it was so good. But if you search on, I got it off Pinterest. It was keto lasagna and it was on Pinterest. So search like keto lasagna with spinach or something and you should find it, but it's so good. All right, so that's my video for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, we got up to 100. Hey, Beth, did you just get on here? Um, everybody loved that joke. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will be back on Thursday for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, if you want to order anything, um, go to my website, stampingwithisa.com. That's the host code until the 15th, and you'll always get some free stuff from me. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.